How can you get your Webflow website on Google as fast as possible so that people can search it and find you so that you can begin to do business and convert with your brand new website? Maybe you've been there, you just finished developing a website, you've spent months with the designer and developer, getting everything just perfect, you finally approve it and you press publish. And then you go on Google, you search your website, and it's nowhere to be found. What do you do? How can you get your Webflow website on Google as fast as possible? Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Let's hop into the computer. All right, here we are in the computer. This is one of my websites that I've developed. I have a photography business. I'm gonna be updating this soon, so you're probably gonna see some videos shortly that's talking a lot about how to update a website and redesign and rebuild a website. Anyways, today's purpose is to say, how do we get our website into Google as fast as possible, particularly our Webflow websites? Well, the first thing that you need to do is to go to your project settings, and you need to make sure that you have your sitemap enabled. And so after you've published everything, you've done all of that, then the next thing you need to do is make sure, you know, go to SEO, go to sitemap, auto-generate sitemap. You need to make sure that this is on. And notice what it says right here. Update sitemap.xml when published to your website. This right here is key. This is what we need when we're gonna to go to Google. And so if I go to my website, caseylewisphotography.com slash sitemap.xml. And this is gonna show the sitemap for my website. As you notice, I got a number of different pages on this particular website. This is gonna be key, so keep this up. The next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna go and type in search console. Once you type that in, that's gonna be one of the first hits that comes up, Google Search Console Tools. You're gonna to click on that button right there. It's gonna take you to this page right now for Search Console, and if you haven't signed up for Search Console yet, you're gonna walk through the prompts. I've already signed up for Search Console in the past, but either way, you're gonna click Start Now. One of the things that I wanna make sure that I do is I wanna change over here to my other profile. So this is not necessarily applicable to you in the video, but say you have a couple different profiles. I have a company profile in Google Search Console that I have a number of different sites that I have on my Search Console. So the next thing that you wanna make sure to do, regardless if you have a whole list of sites like I do, or you are just getting started for the first time, you wanna come and click Add Property. Two things are gonna come up. The first one is this new um, property type right here. One of the things to note though is that this requires DNS verification. And so if you don't wanna deal with that, then I would suggest that you skip that and use URL prefix. And so what you wanna do is just type in your domain to your website, caseylewisphotography.com. And I'm gonna take that domain and I'm actually just going to copy that. I'm gonna come back over to the URL prefix and I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm gonna press continue. It's gonna verify my property. And one of the things that it's gonna ask me to do is to verify my ownership of this particular property. One of the easiest ways to do this if you don't have analytics or Google Tag Manager or anything like that set up is simply just to put an HTML tag on your website's homepage. And that's exactly how we're gonna do it here in this particular video. So all that you need to do is open up that dropdown. Here is the tag, you're gonna copy that. And then you're gonna go to your Webflow project again. You're gonna go back to the designer and you're gonna make sure that you're on the home page, particularly when you go back to the designer from the project settings, it's going to take you to your home page. So you should already be there. And as soon as this loads up, I'll show you exactly where to paste this piece of code. You're gonna click on home. Then you're gonna click on the gear icon. This is gonna open up the home settings. You're gonna scroll down to the custom code section of the website. And right here inside the custom code section in the head tag, you're gonna paste that piece of code. You're gonna press save. 
Then you're going to publish your project. After you've saved and published your project, you're going to go back to Search Console and you're going to click Verify. And if everything goes correctly, you're going to see this ownership verification here. Uh, then you can click Go to Property. The next thing that you need to do, and this is really important and why I showed you the site map first, is go to your website where I showed caseylewisphotography.com slash sitemap.xml. What you're going to do is just copy this piece right here, sitemap.xml, or you could simply write it into Search Console. It doesn't really matter. But over here on the left-hand side, underneath indexing is sitemaps. And so you want to go right here. It has add a new sitemap. It has your URL that you have typed in already. And then all you need to do is paste or type sitemap.xml. And then you're going to submit that to Google for them to crawl your particular site. And that's all that you need to do. After a couple of days, the status here is going to change to crawled. And what you should actually begin to see if I show you the sitemap for my particular, for my actual website, clcreative.co, you're going to notice that there's going to be a sitemap that is right here. And after a while, the status should be success, and it's going to tell you exactly how many URLs that Google has discovered on your page. And that's it. Hopefully that helps you to understand how to get your Webflow website on Google quickly so that you can be found by people whenever they search for your website. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that your website is going to come up on the first page of Google. And if you want to learn how to get your Webflow website to show up on the first page of Google and to increase the rankings, then subscribe to this channel. Throughout 2023, we're going to be talking about all things Webflow, web design, and search engine optimization. I'm going to be helping you to understand how to develop a Webflow website as well as how to rank a Webflow website. And so won't you subscribe to my channel? If you got some value out of this, like it, share it, comment down below and tell me what videos you want to see in 2023 in regard to Webflow and SEO. I'll see you on the next video.